TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. But if you can't join us, just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, don't forget, we do got the Patreon. You can join to that. And we also got the Discord. The links to all of that will be down in the description. If you have any business inquiries, my email for work is in there as well. <laughs> this is from the Shy Historian. He's a UK... This is a UK channel. He, this is called The Most Inbred Family. How inbred are the Whittakers? Whit, takers Whittakers. I wasn't even going to do this. I, was, I started this. I got this far in. About right here. A minute in. And I was like, you know what? Nah. I think I got a lot to say. <laughs> so I'm going to lie. The world's most inbred family. We can recap. When this story broke back in 2020, I knew that this needed to make a spot on my own channel. Previously, if you've been watching my content for a while, you will know that I feature inbreeding and incest fairly often. That's crazy. The usual topic will focus on royalty today and in the past. However, today's video will be slightly different. This, hey, listen, okay. I didn't even know that there was a, 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 a possibility that these type families was involved in those things of, the, of that nature. Royalty today and in the past. However, today's video will be slightly different. The Whitakers or Whitakers, depending on your accent, are not royalty by any stretch of the public imagination. But they may possibly be more inbred than the Habsburgs or even the ancient Egyptians. In today's video, we'll be breaking down how inbred the Whitaker family truly is. How inbred are the Whitakers? This will be the primary question in today's video. To do this, we will split today's video into two sections. And I had asked... Section one. I had asked the stream, like... Like, what, what, what drives somebody mind to one day wake up and be like, Yeah, my cousin looking like a 10 out of a 10. I'm gonna go shoot my shot. Like what? What drives a human to do that? That's weird. That's for me. For me, I can't speak for most people, but I can speak for me. That's weird. We'll outline the context of the Whitaker family from origin to today. We will cover the named members of the family and some more important details to take of note. Section two addresses today's question. By using our contextual information alongside a potential family tree or bush in this case. Oh, folks, bro is deep into it. Alongside a potential family tree or. He didn't bro. He didn't. He didn't pull up a shot chart. A shot chart. This is. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all something about me. I don't. I do not discriminate when it comes to dating but when I used to live in Chicago like I used to live in a specific area in Chicago I refused to date anybody from there because I don't know who's my cousin like, I'm, I'm being dead ass with you right now I refuse like almost didn't date black girls because I didn't want to I didn't want to mistake it for my cousin or something like that like I'm not doing it because I be seeing too many couples and I be looking at them like yo are y'all sure y'all not a, it's not a possibility y'all second cousins or something? Like, are you positive? Like, and I just don't want that for myself. Like, that, I would be devastated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Hell no. By using our contextual information alongside a potential family tree or bush. But don't get me wrong. Like, I, I'm dating now. I'm in Florida. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm dating. It's whatever. But back where I was from, mm -mm. in this case, we can count. We damn near had to take a DNA test to make sure. Calculate the consanguinity coefficient of the Whitaker family. The Essentially, calculating how inbred each family member is, who is the most inbred, and what the average inbreeding of the overall family truly is. How inbred each family member is, what family member is most inbred. Like, come on, man. 
Am I, I'm, 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 I might be overreacting. Now, with that all out of the way, let's move on to today's video. Why were the Whittakers even cared about? Until 2004, the family lived a relatively obscure life. Although the locals of the Appalachian region in Virginia knew about the family's problems, there was no indication nor knowledge that the family was conducting in interbreeding. In 2004, Mark later snapped his now in. Now, watch out. Let me, I want everybody to see. image of a few members of the Whitaker family. Danny, Timmy and Freddie were siblings in the supposedly final generation of the Whitaker family. In 2004, Mark later knew that this generation was suffering from the ill effects of inbreeding. Timmy, for example, suffered from facial and mental deformities, and I am not stating this to disparage him. His cousin, Ray, who is not included in the family tree directly, which will be displayed later, was reported to be the member of the Whitaker family who was suffering from the ill effects of inbreeding the most. When Mark later visited the family again in 2020, Ray, the supposed cousin of the family, was unable to communicate with Mark, instead showing him objects inside the Whitaker's family lodge with grunts. So why are Ray and Timmy victims of intense inbreeding? In order to see this, we need to go back to the year 1887. In this year, identical twins, Henry and John, married two non-related women. At this time, nothing looked out of the ordinary. Okay, looking real average, real average, okay. And a snapshot of the family tree does not indicate anything amiss. This is until we look at a few generations back. Henry and John, okay. Back. You see, John did not marry a non-relative. His wife, Ada, was his first cousin, as she was the... First cousin though, not second, not third, not distant. First, that means your mama's brother or sister's daughter or daughter of John's auntie. Ada was his first cousin, as she was the daughter of John's auntie. Confusing? Don't worry. It's not. Things are going to get a lot worse very shortly. It's not confusing. Both of the identical twins managed to produce children, including a son and a daughter. The daughter, who was the child of John and Ada, was unfortunately the product of inbreeding, since her parents were first cousins. However, first cousin marriages do not stop there. In fact, while John Jr. and Gracie were growing up, they fell in love with one another. Mark reports that their courtship was not only encouraged by their parents, despite them being both first cousins, but also that their relationship was started before Gracie had reached the age of 18, as she gave birth to her first child before this. This occurred in the year 1937, with John- So it wasn't like accidental, like dang, I just accidentally, you know what I'm saying? This was encouraged? Before this. This occurred in the year 1937, with John and Gracie reportedly marrying in 1935, when Gracie was only 15 years old. Their first child, named Aileen, was the first of 15 children. Name who? <laughs> no, stop. It's not funny. Stop. 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 Old. Their first child, named Aileen, was the first of 15 children born to John and Gracie. Their next child, born 10 months after Aileen's birth, was sickly and lasted only a few months. Over the next 23 years, the couple produced 13 more children. Many suffered from the ill effects of inbreeding. Their eighth child, Mary, passed away aged one month due to inbreeding complications. While many of her siblings survived, Now, isn't there laws against this now? Can't you go to jail for this? Were there no laws back then or something? I mean, it's presumably, I guess not. <sighs> I 
they passed away from heart attacks or complications of long-term illness, with Mark commenting that inbreeding was a likely cause of this. However, disturbing details do not end there. Timmy, shown in the image earlier, is not the brother to Freddie nor Danny. In fact, he is their nephew, being the son of their sister, Lorene. Mark could not find out conclusively who Timmy's father was, but later on in the video, we will uncover some disturbing possibilities. Out of all of the 15 siblings, Danny, known as Ray, was apparently the one who suffered the most from inbreeding. Out of the 15 siblings, Betty was regarded as the most capable and became the family matriarch. When Mark visited the family in 2020, he asked her why there were so many abnormalities and eccentricities in the family. She commented that it had nothing to do with genetics and could possibly be due to coal mining. Critics stated that the Whitaker family, who lived in West Virginia, were in one of the most poorest counties in the whole of the USA, and that this would count as exploitation. However, Later's documentary sparked a GoFundMe page for the family, allowing them to finally break their cycle of poverty. 300 for that. Part two, how inbred are they? So one side of the family was, you know, had a normal thing going on, and then a cousin and a and a cousin and another cousin, and then from there, their son and daughter just got together, and it just the whole line of family is gone. Wait, stop, stop! Suffering from the ill effect. Stop. Using the family tree, it's obvious that the family is suffering from the ill effects of inbreeding caused by successive generations of intermarriage. Unlike the Habsburgs who experienced first cousin marriage frequently, many of the children born to the Whitaker family experienced more of- Yo, hold on, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. And the not negative of unlike the Habsburgs who experienced first cousin marriage frequently many of the children born to the Whitaker family experienced more often than not negative effects both physical and mental of inbreeding so how inbred is the family to do this we need to consult a simple equation known as the coefficient of consanguinity relationship using this table we can see how this works take yourself for example if you were to have a child with... I don't want to take myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me move myself so we can all see the chart. With yourself, you can see how this works. Take yourself, for example. If you were to have a child with yourself, Yes, I know this is impossible, but theoretically speaking, the child would have a consanguinity coefficient of 100%, or 1, which is the highest level of inbreeding someone could possibly have. Okay. In contrast, the lowest would be 0%, zero. Okay. or 0, which is ideal, but very few people have this since almost everyone on Earth is considered to be related to one another if you look far back enough. Don't. Okay, I know that, but the fact that you just said it out loud, don't do that to me, bro. Fortunately, we can look back to a certain extent with the Whitaker family, since we have the family tree available. If we presume that the first ancestors had a consanguinity coefficient of zero, we can accurately calculate the inbreeding levels of all known descendants. The first culprit of inbreeding was through the couple John and Ada. 
whose daughter, Gracie, was a product of a first cousin relationship. This means that Gracie's consanguinity coefficient is 0.125. Unfortunately for Gracie, she went on to have her own first cousin relationship with her first cousin, John, who may have had a 0% consanguinity coefficient since we cannot detect any signs of inbreeding in his ancestors. However, because of this first cousin relationship, the consanguinity coefficient between these two actually increases to 0.18%, meaning that their children would be more inbred than Gracie. This is unsurprising given the images we have of the Whitaker generation, with Ray and Freddie being examples. This means that all of the 15 children had a consanguinity coefficient of 0.18% since they were all four siblings. 18%. Now, this might not seem too high, but keep in mind, Charles II of Spain, who is infamously regarded as one of the most inbred people to have ever lived, had a consanguinity coefficient of 0.25, so they're not that far off. The high level of inbreeding is likely responsible for the premature demises of some of the Whitaker siblings, such as Amori and Mary in infancy as well as some of the long-term health problems of the other siblings who passed away from heart attacks in their 50s and 60s. However, the true story does not end there. Remember Timmy? The son of one of these inbred 15 siblings who had an unknown father. If Timmy's mother, Lorene, had married a non-relative, Timmy's consanguinity coefficient would have been as low as 0.08%. But looking at Timmy, it's safe to say this is unlikely. In fact, Timmy appears to be suffering from inbreeding. My bad, nope. We gotta see. We can't really miss nothing. Cause this is crazy. Either to this. In but looking at Timmy, it's safe to say this is unlikely. In fact, Timmy appears to be suffering from inbreeding either to the same extent or even Worse. higher than his supposed aunts and uncles. What does this mean? Although Lorene had Timmy when she was 33, there is a possibility that Timmy's biological father is a close relative to Lorene. A cousin is a probability, since the town they live in only has 800 residents, with almost 100 of these being from the Whitaker family line. However, there is also the grim possibility of something else, which I wait, 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 wait. They live in an 800 town, 800 people town, 100 people from that, the same family line. You gotta move. I hope they moved with that 45,000, something. I will not elaborate here, since there is no direct evidence, nor even rumor from any member of the family. With that said, we must conclude that the Whitaker family has a consanguinity coefficient, better known as an inbreeding extent, of 18%, ranking them as one of the most inbred families to have lived on Earth. And there we have it, how inbred the Whitaker family is. What detail in this video did you find surprising? Make sure to- The whole 10 minutes and 48 seconds was surprising. I don't understand why anybody would think any less of this was surprising. See, I'll leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm gone.